I think that's enough of that for now. You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. This must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. I'm just in here. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Your mind, it's like a conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Isolated from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily. Encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610 FM. You can't miss it.
find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. It's not like at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband, he was fine. No way he caused this. It's him, this Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Quite an imagination, Mr. Asian. I guess it's from the shows he's been watching. This time he described a, an A&E visit as a government conspiracy, you know, some sort of lab. It's, uh, it's interesting stuff. It's pure fiction. But I guess it's just his way of coping for now. We'll see how we progress in future sessions. first session with Mr. James Asian, although I fear it will certainly not be his last. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction and told us a story about a computer game that was talking to him. I think he was back at his own house, his mum and dad's house, and he always talked about a room with a red X, one he couldn't get in. I don't know what any of this means or what it's going to do with the accident, but I guess uh, some more sessions will maybe reveal that. We're going to try again tomorrow. We found him lying there sobbing while his sister died in the car next to him. While Hennings died next to him. What the fuck was he thinking? She was still alive when we got to her. If he'd have done something, they could all still be here. You honestly believe that Hennings was drunk at the wheel? and not this little shit. If he wakes up, when he wakes up, I want answers. Until then, you handle it. You write it up. I'm out.
Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Come on, 100 joules. Charging out full to 10. Come on. Can we get this on the screen, please? Clear. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. 200 joules. Keep the amp charge to 10. Two hundred joules. Keep the charge at ten. Let's go. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Come on, 360, hurry. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. <sighs> Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on a drill, please. The drill, please. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort.
Sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Thank you. 
You're all over the place, James. Pull over. James, for fuck's sake, pull over! James, the moment you lost it all, your sister, your parents, yourself, and then you made it worse. Go on, show us what you did.
I know you. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it. But no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And then you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. Listen to yourself. It has to end, James. Do you not understand? This episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop, make it stop. You remember. Stop the session, the station. Go back to where we started. Put an end to this nightmare. You can do this, James. You can let go. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow.